and starting your trip we record video inside the car for your safety and support as a reminder keep your hands and arms in the car at all times let's cruise Cruise is the only company in in San Francisco allowed to to do commercial rides? No, we have three companies that have currently in California license to do commercial rides. Uh, two of them are passenger cars, uh, Remo and Cruise, and the third one is a delivery robot company, Neuro. And seven companies are currently allowed to drive driverless. Uh, that is limited to certain areas, uh, certain times of the day, certain weather conditions, and uh, a certain number of vehicles. They have currently about, uh, as far as I know, 60 uh, companies. Oh, where is it going? I think it's now. Not going the right way. Let me see. This is turning right. Well, interesting experience. Let's see what it does. Yeah, good to see. So, what is he doing? Well, maybe it's because he just changed lane and he's going to redirect. Yeah, so this is the, the wrong lane in here. So, over there is the depot that they have. Yeah. Um, well, he, he does a, a round of honor with us now. <laughs> Too funny. Too funny. Oh, he, he's choosing a different way, a different route, you see? He now switched the route. He saw we, we were filming, he wants to give us a longer version. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. maybe. <laughs> You hear the sound also, the ventilation, yeah, this is for the computers. Yeah, yeah. huge computer back right there. Yeah. Um, on top you've seen the, the LiDAR pucks yeah? mm -hmm. and, and cameras and radar. Um, The first ride that I had, we encountered coyotes. Coyotes? coyotes yeah. Our, in San Francisco? Our, in San Francisco in the night, yeah. Two coyotes. And it stopped? It recognized them? Uh, so they were already on the side, so you didn't have to stop, but then we waited at the intersection because it was red, and then the coyotes just went across the intersection red. And uh, on Sunday, when I drove on Sunday, on October 30th, I got a car. <laughs> there was somebody on the front seat seeing a scarecrow. A scarecrow? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's Halloween, right? Wow. <laughs> so I, I did, did, took a picture. I noticed it only when I was sitting there. Oh, what's that? So yeah. And then I took a picture of that. And I used that then for my blog. Yeah, I think I, think I saw that, yeah, okay, so but I nice, didn't read nice that story. Yeah. Yeah. It's a nice touch. They have humor. That, yeah. that, that have to. This is new, I haven't seen that. You know, every time you ride, you notice some, something different. There's another uh, cruise in front of us. Yeah, you see it? Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, yeah. yeah. So how many people 
people are uh, getting these um, allowances to, to do the access to the app. Mm -hmm. I I don't know how many there are currently. Um, I've been uh, trying to use it uh, to see also the different, you know, encounter different situations. And uh, currently, because uh, so many friends or delegations are here, I'll, I offer them just to let's go, let's try it. Yeah, so that I drive and experience more. And each time you drive, you see a little bit of a different thing going on. For example, now look at the look at the radar thing that they have on top of the side mirror. They will mm -hmm. be like flapping around. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I guess this is a radar where it tries to increase the angle yeah, by flipping around and, and measuring if there is somebody standing or mm -hmm. some okay. stuff. Yeah. Uh, so they can make that. So each car, this is called Brussels Sprout, yeah, ours is Violin, so each car has a different name. Yeah, oh. because when you have like, let's say three cars coming, three people in the I same really corner, that you know it. which one is your car, right? It's also better that than just the license plate. It's a bit more creative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It gives it a nice, more human touch, right? Mm -hmm, yeah. Name. Not sure if I would choose like Brussels Sprout or <laughs> things <laughs> like that yeah, as a name. But then I think they also didn't want to use, name them like Nancy or Katie or we're kind of getting into this gender and sex discussion and, and you know, a robot is female always, you know. Uh, Just giving them neutral names, Brussels Sprout. Brussels no, Sprout, complain. violin, yeah. And so here I also have a button then that says Android, yeah. And uh, like an emergency? you can call a teleoperator so if there's a problem. So, so if something is going on or this, the car doesn't know what to do, you can call the uh, operation center and they will help you or give you advice what to do or try to tell the car something from remote. Are you probably in the end to to give feedback on the ride and all these things? They have like a like a rating, like a five star order. rating, and then what did you like, what did you not like, and so on. Um, but you, you know, potentially you want to give them different feedback. Let's say, um, I would I would like to see let's say what the car sees. Yeah. So does he see the bicyclist? Yeah. Uh, that could be a feedback that I give or. Uh, he did something that was uh, feeling unsafe, yeah? or or maybe the car didn't find me here properly. It was parking around the corner, yeah. And but this is something that that this is the reason why they're testing with people, yeah? mm -hmm. because people are using it differently. Um, people, for example, uh, when they go to the supermarket there's one spot where they will want to be dropped off and one spot where we want to pick it up and these are two different places yeah? you maybe want to be dropped off as it turns out at the entrance of the supermarket but picked up at the cart return yeah mm -hmm. yeah so so and this is something with a lot of different destinations and use cases that this cars then try to yeah, learn. human behavior you, yeah. you have to yeah. Or that you may have. We're arriving soon. In Please between. Please close the windows and start collecting your things. That you have targets in between, destinations in between. Let's say you have kids, drop them off at soccer practice or music school, and uh, then you continue to the gym. Yeah? Instead of calling a new car. Mm -hmm. What's also interesting is the reaction of the people outside. Yeah, some some people see them. There's nobody sitting in front. Yeah, they pointed out that they're all excited. Like, oh, did you see that? Yeah, yeah, I was waving at, at the cruises always. <laughs> it says it on the web website. Like, don't yeah. forget to wave. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah.